G'day everyone, Grand Tour here again with another 2v2 Rome 2 and uh, today I'm playing with um, a subscriber of mine called Offshift and uh, he was in the last battle against me, now he's uh, playing with me he's brought Tillis today, I brought Boyoi and we're up against Manzikert who's brought Sewebi and uh, SH Zephyr 1 and uh, yes, so we're going for the Barbarian Bash <laughs> just to uh, see how it goes. So, for my build, I've got the three heavy horse, the uh, two spear levies, Celtic Warriors as well, two of them on the flank, and I've just got the uh, line of sword followers with uh, one Ace Sworn General and some Celtic Slingers out the back. And uh, Manza Kurtz brought. Uh, Swebby, so he's got the Spear Brothers on the flank there. He's got four of them. Then out the back he's got the two Sword Masters. One is Jen, his left flank, the Round Shield Swordsman. Then some Blood Sworn. And then some Berserkers behind them. A couple more Round Shields. And then he's got the uh, the Horse Runners, which is a bit different out the front. And then uh, SH Zephyr. Got the Ace Worn, Heavy Horse, two Celtic Warriors and a Levy on that flank. Another Heavy Horse, two more out the back there as well. And uh, Levy Freeman, Ace Worn. And then, uh, yeah, he's got the Ace Worn Gen, yep. So two of them. Then he's got the uh, Sword Followers middle line. Then some uh, Levy Freeman there. And then the uh, Celtic Slingers as well. So we'll, uh, then we'll go through. Um, off shifts build. He's got the tribal warriors all the way along the middle there. Then he's got the uh, raiding horsemen, the um, Celtic slingers, a couple of oh, ice sworn and a noble horse gen. He's got the Celtic warriors out the front with some uh, levy freemen. So we'll press play and see how this goes. So I'm going for the wide flank again, as I usually do. And he's bringing on out the Spear Brothers to uh, to counter that. So I'm just hoping to um, get into his squishy units. Like the Round Shields and Blood Sworn and get them out of there quick. So I can concentrate on the uh, Berserkers and whatnot. I was thinking about charging these Spear Brothers, but then I thought, nah, they better not. Because there's more in support and Javelins will crack me Cav. I'll try not to waste my cab for once. So I usually do waste it. I see him bringing out these uh, horse runners. Try and get them out there quick. So I um, quickly scoot me heavy horse here and try and get into them as quick as possible. Run fast, you bastards! And he, uh, yeah, he spots what I'm doing there. So change me attack order. Straight into the squishy round shields. Oh, they get a javelin off, which my horse didn't like. Then another javelin. But um, surprisingly, only lost uh, 11 men, so that's not bad. So I quickly follow that up with uh, my sword followers and my middle line. This all got to be done fairly quickly so I can get amongst it. So I get my javelin off. I actually got two javelin off by the looks of it. That was a bit weird. Hmm. Excellent. I'll take that. So another javelin there. And then I see the, uh, whoops, fast charge. Get out of here. Turn and run. <laughs> so I'm trying to turn and run. But I actually hit him with uh, the sword followers as I'm running away off these ones, which will do me good there. The general kind of got caught by the old fast charge. I wanted to get him out a bit quicker. The, uh, this one got away. So that's when I bring my horse in to hit the squishy stuff again. I'm just chasing off these um, Spear Brothers with me units out in the flank there. So I'm going to try and get another charge in here. Try and mop up this shit as quick as possible. So considering he's hit the fast charge, I've done alright to get rid of this stuff here. With me um, Cav. I'm have a look at off shift, see how he's going over here. It's going fairly well. He's got all the line locked up. 
got his charges in, which is good. On the flank here, it's not looking so good, but he's um, meat shield to Levy Freeman, so he can get um, his tribal warriors in there. So he's not going too bad, but these uh, tribal warriors are having a hard time. So my general gets uh, a bit splattered. He didn't get out quick enough from the fast charge. But um, thank Christ I got the heavy horse here to try and take care of these um, horse runners a bit. Berserkers are going berserk, running into me slingers. His general's coming in now to try and mop up me crap. So all in all, I'm not going too bad. He starts bringing over a couple of heavy horse here, which are going to threaten me line as well. I don't want that shit to happen. So these uh, trouble warriors have stabilised for off shift. But he does have the problem of um, these heavy horse into his slingers now. So he's coming in with the noble horse to nullify that. Now this is what I didn't want to happen. And that's the uh, heavy horse of SH clan member coming out. But it's uh, stopped by the Celtic Warriors here, which is good. Off shift had me back there. So I finished up this, the uh, what was it, round shield swordsman of these two. Bit of an overkill, two on the one, but kind of worked. So coming in for a rear hit on this general unit. And then I'm going to come in with the two sword followers and uh, hopefully mop him up. So these uh, horse runners have done well. Not too bad, but um, now they're just going to get chased down by a couple of me skirmish. And um, off shift is still holding the line here. He'd want to hit the shield ball on him. That would have been handy for the trouble warriors at this stage. But the shield ball's always good. Hit that as soon as possible. And um, they'll hold in there much longer. You know, it looks like I've got the advantage on this side just. He's uh, taking the sword masters out after me Celtics. And uh, these sword masters here uh, getting a bit hurt by my sword followers. Taking out the horse runners there. And uh, these two horse runners are uh, getting chased down as well. So the berserkers come back. I'm going to try and be shooting them with my slingers. Because as you can see they haven't got much armour at all so they go down to slingers quite easy. So that berserker's gone berserk again. Just give him a couple more shots. I should be able to change here. I just changed my attack order to the other berserkers. So I can come in for this rear charge. And uh, polish them berserkers off. They're still going hard. But um, my sword followers should have them stitched up soon. Yep, that's the end of them berserkers. These ones are going to get shot. So I can now concentrate on coming over and helping um, off shift a bit. So I'm coming in here with my Celtic Warriors. who have got 119 kills. They've done well. They're going to come in and uh, help get rid of these oaths sworn here. But it um, looks like there's a lot of boy eye left on this field. On this side. So yeah, uh, the sword master's running after me Celtic warriors, I mean Celtic slingers, which is what I want over there. And uh, so I can mop up the rest of this engagement. Yep, shot that um, berserker down with these slingers. They've been handy doing that. So I don't want to face them, so they're all gone. So at the moment it's uh, looking okay. But um, boy, I still has a oath sworn and a fair few um, other units left as well. So getting these Levy Freeman with my Celtic Warriors, they're doing well. Mopping up the rest of the horse runners with my sword followers. Actually hold in there for a surprising long time, they should be gone by now, horse runners. Didn't do too bad. So I finished up the engagement in the middle here. And uh, still kiting away the general of Swebby. This uh, heavy horse He's got 12 men left in it and he's coming out for the slingers. But um, I've got my slingers trade on him so they'll, they'll uh, rip him down pretty quick. So my Celtic Warriors have done exceptionally well here. They've got 187 kills. Helping out old off shift on this side. And the sword followers are going to come in now. 
and uh, help out as well so it's looking pretty good for us at the moment but the thing is um, I've lost all my my, my mobility with uh, no heavy horse so all my heavy horse have gone um, I've got one slinger left and the other one's kite and a swerby general over there I'm coming over as fast as I can to try and help uh, off shift but it may be too little too late we'll see what happens get these sword followers in there this host one's going to be a pain in the ass I'm not going to be able to get that I think Celtic Warrior Levy Freeman Levy Freeman a uh, Celtic Slinger and Levy Freeman there Sword follower and uh, these Celtic Warriors looks like their little successful run will be over now. And the Ace One come into the back of them and uh, finish them off quite easily. So the other heavy horse with 12 in it come into me slingers. I really need them to stick around. I should have um, brought these sword followers in a bit sooner. I'm going to chase off the Celtic Slingers with my Levy Freeman. Try and come in with the Celtic Warriors onto the Levy Freeman here. And um, it looks like a few of my troops are starting to waver now and and go off the field. So I think I came over a little bit too late here. I'm trying to get these sword followers with 71 in the unit onto them Celtic Warriors. And then support with these sword followers here. But um, my sword foils didn't like that little rear charge there. They should stick around. Stick around, boys. And they finally do stick around, so. These sword foils with 18 left in the unit are sticking in there um, quite good. They're staying for the long haul. And here's our Levy Freeman against these Celtic Warriors. They may end up good for me, but here come the Ice Swarm, which is um, not going to be fun for me exhausted sword followers. They're not going to enjoy that at all. <laughs> They're going to um, be handedly uh, beaten there. Yeah, so 55 sword followers against 111 Ice Swarm. No match there, so my troops are quickly disappearing. And they've still got the Swabby General uh, over there, Swordmaster. I had to leave him so I could quickly get over here and help out. Sword follows, 110 in the unit. Not too bad, but these ones are um, wavering, so I won't get the rear charge in time. And once this rear charge comes in from Levy Freeman, that should get rid of my uh, sword follows there. So these sword follows exhausted. Um, yeah, aren't going to last too much longer against the Ace Warn. And then he's got the Celtic Slinger over here, two of, um, peppering them as well. So, very good game. And uh, it counts as a loss. <laughs> but I think it, it was all in all a good game. So, I was quite happy with the way we went. If that um, Swerby Fast Charge didn't get hold of me, I'd end up getting away. I would have done a lot better. But as you can see there, the kills on my men were quite sufficient. The um, Celtic Warriors done extremely well on that flank. Um, and the uh, Levy Freeman done very well too. Can't complain there. This sword follower done exceptionally well. But uh, a couple of them got caught by the fast charge, which I didn't want. These ones down the bottom done well. Uh, Slingers, them ones didn't do too good. These ones done okay. And my Cav done fairly well. So, But my General got swamped by the fast charge as well. Didn't get him out of there quick enough. I knew it was coming, but I just couldn't bring him back quick enough. I was trying to bait it out of him and get him with the cav. And for off shift, his uh, raiding horseman done well. And uh, yeah, the Celtic Warriors done their part. And the Ace Sworn done okay. Trouble Warriors done well. His general got 79 kills, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, Man's a Kurt. He yeah, done okay, but he um, did get the least amount of kills. He's, he had a lot of squishy stuff which I grabbed hold of. 
and um, his general done extremely well, 322 kills. Uh, these horse runners done okay, not too bad, but I didn't end up getting hold of them in the end. Berserkers done okay. Uh, this swordmaster done well too. The Spear Brothers they got a bit bashed, so the Wolf Warrior. And for the fur one, his cav done extremely well. His general done good. Skirmish done very good. And his Celtic Warriors done their part. And uh, Levy Freeman getting some good kills there. Oswald always good. Yeah, and the rest of it done okay. Two sixty eight for that saw fellow, so very good. No worries. Valiant defeat, and that it was. Thanks for the game off shift. You played well, mate. And thank you, Men's Kirk and SH Safer. Appreciate you uh, coming in for this game. And uh, leave a like if you like this barbarian brawl. And I'll talk to you soon.